If I do the movie, I need to address uh, what happened in Insidious 2. So if I can do this, 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 father-son relationship, uh, you know, I want to look to Renee, look to Rose Byrne and say, what happened? You know, I want, I would need this, this, this. And they said, great, go for it. And I believe that when a director and an actor are so close, that's when the best performances can come out. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I have to step into this huge, you know, role. The further you travel, the riskier the journey becomes. Dude, you did good. This is good. <laughs> you sound surprised. <laughs> Look, how, who brought this up? Who was like, yeah, dude, you should direct this film. You should direct the new Insidious. Um, honestly, it was my agent. <clears throat> yeah, I well, I had been looking for something to direct, and uh, I, I originally thought it was going to be something that I wrote, co-wrote with a with a writer friend of mine, and then they said, you know, would you be interested in doing something that you didn't write? And I said, sure, if it's something that I'm passionate about, that I that I that I believe in, that I think I can do, I think I can give some voice to, um, and weirdly, I, shortly after that, they came with an idea uh, of just me to be in a in the movie it was like a 20 page document that Lee had written um, and uh, and it was my agent who before he even was sent to me they sent it to him and he says well and he told Blumhouse what if he directs it and then he went and then Jason and Cooper were like uh, uh, Cooper Samuelson from Blumhouse were like of, of, of course yes that's a great idea they didn't know and to be fair they didn't know I was looking to direct so they wouldn't have thought of it yes he wants to do that amazing that's a great choice um, and so then by the time they pitched it to me, I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to step into James's shoes. I don't know if I want to be, you know, I, 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 I don't know if I need it. And then, and then I thought of the, the, when they said the idea of him going to college, and I said, well, if I do the movie, I need to address uh, what happened in Insidious 2. So if I can do mm -hmm. this, 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 father-son relationship, uh, you know, I want to look to Renee, look to Rose Byrne and say, what happened? You know, I want, I would need this, this, this. And they said, great, go for it. And then we got a writer and Scott Teams, who was awesome. Scott and I sat together and he said, what do you want to make your story about? And we went from there. We took the kernel of what Lee had and then ran with it. And that's been four years. Why don't you drive Dalton to college? You still have a few weeks before your students show up, right? Just an idea to reconnect. I know it's been tough with you too. Ty, I want to start with you. Um, it's. I, as a viewer, watching you continue on with the story, working with Patrick Rose, I, it's kind of satisfying. I, I can't imagine. I, I can't imagine being you and kind of not only working with you, Patrick as an actor, but having him direct you. What was that like? Yeah, you know. So I, I just to put it in, into perspective, I've known Patrick since before the Insidious franchise, since I was three years old. Um, so. He and I have, have cultivated a relationship on and off set for a very long time. And I believe that when a director and an actor are so close, that's when the best performances can come out because you trust each other so much to he will communicate what he wants and what he expects from you. And you kind of communicate what you think about the character and what you want to do. And you can find some cool ground in the middle. And on top of that, just having someone I, I you know, trust and hold so close to my heart on set with me, make like in my first lead role, it's a daunting thing. There's a lot of scenes in there and having him there just kind of calmly guiding me along and making sure that everything's good and, and okay. It was, it was great. Did you ever try and get help? No, I'm just trying to push through. Well, the father and son dynamic here is just, it's excellent. Yeah, thank it's you. Ex thank you. Well, well, I mean, it seems like such a, a really beautiful thing i mean you you worked with this ty when in 2010 yeah. and you've known him since he was three I, he was right. telling me yeah to find that balance as not only his uh, co-star but directing him and, yeah. and especially his first leading role how was he how quickly did easily did he adjust to that and for you as a director i he very easily you know when you play someone's father when they're a kid in the movie um the majority of the time you're just trying to capture their personality. If you can get some of the lines that are written, you know, great. But 
you, you don't tend to do a lot of heavy lifting with kids. I mean, like under 12, you know, you really, per usual, that's, you know, you rarely are you having someone do heavy lifting as a kid. So I knew this was gonna be a major, major step from him, even though obviously he's gone on Jurassic Park and Iron Man 3, all that stuff. But uh, the whale, of course. So, but but I knew this would be, this would be different. This is he major heavy lifting that he's never done. And he never went to theater school, which is my upbringing. So I knew it was, I was gonna push him. And I told him that. And he was down for it. He wanted it. And that's all I needed to see. If someone was like, I don't know if it's gonna work. And it sounds like a great opportunity. Yeah, yeah, you know. But it was like, yes, please, I want it. And that's honestly all I needed. I didn't care about, I didn't need to see an audition. I didn't need to see how he grew up as a person, as an actor. Like, I knew it. I knew because that stuff, there were so many variables that I didn't know on the movie, but I've, I've worked with, with young actors for, it sounds so lame, I feel so old, but for like 30 years of on and off going back to my alma mater to work with kids, whether it's a musical theater or whether it's film acting. So that dynamic, I was totally fine with. Uh, working with younger actors was, was was I was really happy with. So I knew I'd push him. I told and I told him I said it's going to be a lot. I can't say it's going to be fun. It's going to be rewarding, uh, but there's going to be a lot of really rough days. And it was tough. I can't, I'm not going to lie. And so every day it was like, oh, this is amazing. Like it was like, okay, yeah, let's go. We'll go again. You know, it was tough, but. That's why we do it, you know? And I, I could tell on his face last night, oh my God, this is amazing and that's so honored. And like, yeah, there you go. Because I, I wanted him to have a moment and where whatever, we never know what's gonna happen in our careers, right? But if I can give somebody that moment of like, wherever you go, you're gonna always have, it's the best part about making a movie. You give some actor like, you got this, there's your performance, you know, hopefully this gets you other jobs, you know? It's, so I, 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 I was so happy to have my first experience in the chair be with, with him. I'm seeing crazy stuff. I think these drawings could be clues from my past. There's so much you don't know. And I was too scared to tell you the truth. Our family has been keeping secrets. They suppressed our memories. Sinclair, wow, this is, I love this character. I love what you add to this. Uh, talk about you know being kind of a newbie to this series. Were you a fan? What was it like stepping in? Yes, I was definitely a fan. Big fan, saw them all when they came out in the theaters. So from that point of view, it was so exciting. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dream come true. And then you realize, Oh my gosh, I have to <laughs> step into this huge, you know, role. Um, but it was so fun. And I love Chris as a character. And I love what she brings to this universe. And um, we had a lot of fun, Patrick, Ty, and I, finding her in moments. And, you know, when is she funny? When is she serious? When is she scared? Um, yeah, it was, it was a great journey. Well, I mean, also, you, the two of you. I mean, this is really just lovely chemistry. It's almost, it's just instantaneous that once you guys step together on screen, was that as easy as it looks? <laughs> you know, as, a, as, a, as I was watching, it seemed like you guys were great together. <laughs> so could you talk about working together and finding that chemistry? Yeah, sure. You know, it's funny because sometimes on sets, it's it's a lot harder to kind of do that with, with a person, to, to organically develop a relationship like that. But because... Uh, Dalton and Chris's relationship on screen was so friendly and fun. It was very easy to carry that off screen. And I'd say within the first week or so, like we were best friends. So. Yeah. <laughs> we're like joking around. Wow. Our characters made it very easy to yeah. continue that type of relationship mm -hmm. off camera. Um, and you know, you're making a horror movie and it's all dark and yeah. whatever. You want someone to joke with. <sighs> I feel like I'm getting closer to something. Or something's getting closer to me. 